Hey everybody, Stephen Ewens here with the Afghanistan Project, and I just wanted to give a shout out pretty much to TCP Global um, and Airbrush Depot. Um, the reason is, is this compressor right here, I bought from them uh, initially uh, when I first bought my airbrushes. And if you turn it on, this is what you hear. It does not sound healthy at all. Sometimes it won't even. Sometimes it won't even run right. It'll go clack, 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 and all things shaking. You know. Well, I went ahead and called them up, and I was like, you know, I know this thing has a warranty on it. What do we need to do about this? The guy's like, no problem. We'll ship it. Ship you another one straight to you. You can just keep this other one. Throw it away if you want. Um, no exchange, nothing. They just gave me a new one. Well, the new one they gave me, right here. It's still a, it's a TC20 um, Airbrush Depot air, uh, Airbrush Compressor. And it comes with a water trap on it. And listen to this one in comparison. So you have that. And you have this. This thing... This one, bearings are all shot, the pistons slapping around inside there. So this one, it's a, instead of a one-sixth of a horsepower with the old one, they sent me a new one that has one-fifth of a horsepower, um, 25 liters a minute of air, and compared to 23, and even though it's only a three-liter tank compared to a three-point, what is it, a 3.2-liter tank. But, nice thing also, they sent this uh, tape that you can put on all your fittings, which is nice, especially for uh, people like myself, because I run a splitter here, because I run multiple airbrushes, and so I can run up to three different airbrushes at once without having to change out lines and everything. And so, to set these up, um, if you just go ahead and slap it on there, you're going to have an air leak. Your air compressor is going to run a long time. It's going to run more often. And it's just going to wear it out faster than normal. So, you can take their, this thread tape that actually came with this compressor from them, which is quite impressive that they think about sending you that stuff. And you're going to tape the threads on your connector. Nice and tight. Pop it off. It doesn't take a whole lot. But then take your splitter and screw it on. Now I know this has a wing nut, and so you'd think hand tight, but what I've found is that unless you really crank this down, because there's a rubber grommet on the back side that it doesn't fully flare out to seal it off unless it's really cranked. So I like to take a pair of pliers and just give it an extra little nudge and then straighten them back out. Now here we have our three connections. And so I could take my hoses, which here I have my, this is my 25 foot hose which I use the most for my uh, Micron. I just like being able to have the freedom. But it is nice to also tape the threads on the splitter for those. You know, if you want your air, your compressor to last as long as possible and put the least amount of wear and tear on it, you know, make it run less. So less leaks, less running, which equals longer compressor life. I take these threads and I screw on this com this connector and these have these connectors they have the same deal there's a rubber o-ring right at the base of the nut and so you have to get that o-ring to fully seat and so with this one I just give it a little extra nudge same thing it's on there. You don't want to do too much because they're brass fittings and they'll start to flare out, but you want them to be tight. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up my other one as well. And I like
like to separate them. I don't like having them side by side. I'm going to take it. Same thing. Extra nudge. Turn it on down. Alright. Now this one has a quick connector on the end. Same thing with your quick connectors. You're going to want to tape them as well. Like these compressors like this one, this isn't a very expensive one. You know, like you could probably pick this one up for um, around $100. But that's still, that's a hundred dollars, you know, you don't want to buy another one. Thankfully, in this case, these guys, you know, give a, a great two-year warranty on all their products. And if you uh, change your mind after you buy it, you can send it back within 30 days, and all you got to do is split the shipping with them. So, go ahead and put my quick connector back on nice and tight turn it on listen for any leaks feel for any leaks Grab my, this is my HP. Here is your pressure regulator. Let this thing fill up. There we go. That's coming up. I don't know if you can hear that. Now we have full air. If you listen, I don't hear any air leaks. Now, a lot of you will look at this and you'll see that this air trap, this water trap, is at an angle. Because otherwise it's not tight enough and you get an air leak right here. If you have to do that, you just make sure that it is still pointed somewhat downward. You know, as long as you have that gravity effect, the air will, the water will stay in here. Well, I hope you all liked uh, seeing my air compressors. Um, this has been a very good setup for me. It's nice and quiet. I like it. You know, if you want to check them out, go to tcpglobal.com. They got some good stuff. And enjoy.